House Tyrell. House Tyrell of Highgarden is an extinct great house of Westeros. It ruled over the Reach, a vast, fertile, and heavily populated region of southwestern Westeros, from their castle seat of Highgarden as Lords Paramount of the Reach and Wardens of the South after taking control of the region from House Gardner during the Targaryen Conquest. The house was formerly led by Lord Mace Tyrell. Mace's son Loras was a noted tournament knight and, secretly, the lover of Lord Renly Baratheon. Mace's daughter Marjorie married Renly when he crowned himself king in the War of the Five Kings to cement an alliance between Renly and her father. Following Renly's death, Marjorie was then married to King Joffrey Baratheon before his assassination at his wedding feast. She was then married to his younger brother, King Tommen Baratheon. Mace's mother, the indomitable Elena Tyrell, assumed House Tyrell's lordship after Marjorie, Loras, and Mace Tyrell were all killed by wildfire at the destruction of the Great September of Baelor. Under Elena, House Tyrell realigned itself with House Targaryen and declared for Daenerys Targaryen in opposition against Cersei Lannister, who had orchestrated the downfall of House Tyrell. With the death of Elena after the sack of Highgarden, the house has officially become extinct. In the TV series, the Tyrell family is very small, has only four known members of the main branch. The Tyrell sigil is a golden rose on a pale green field. Their house words are, growing strong. History. House Tyrell was founded by Alistair Tyrell, an Undull knight, during the Undull invasion. Ser Alistair and his family became senior servants of House Gardner, the kings of the Reach, serving for millennia as stewards of the royal castle at Highgarden. Over time they rose to prominence as one of the strongest noble houses in the Reach, and even intermarried with the royal line, though so did many other powerful houses from the Reach. During the Targaryen conquest, King Myrn Nine Gardner was burned alive at the Field of Fire by the Targaryen dragons, along with all of his immediate heirs. Subsequently, Myrn's steward Harlan Tyrell voluntarily surrendered Highgarden to Aegon Targaryen. Aegon rewarded Harlan by making him Lord of Highgarden and Lord Paramount of the Reach, ahead of other houses from the Reach which were actually more closely related to House Gardner. Chief among these is House Florent of Brightwater Keep, which claims direct male line descent from the old Gardner kings, while House Tyrell only claim descent from House Gardner through the female line. House Tyrell's overall disposition is adequately represented by their sigil of a rose, a rose's beauty often hides the fact that it has thorns. Though the Tyrells do try to be just and fair, their benevolent demeanor serves to lull their enemies into thinking that, like the Starks, they are utterly beholden to honorable conduct. In reality, the Tyrells are just as cunning as the Lannisters in court politics and intrigue, though they often prefer a more subtle approach. Thus they strike a pragmatic balance between the Stark's honor and the Lannisters' ruthlessness. Throughout history, House Tyrell has played by the strategy of following the sure path, siding with whoever is most likely to win in any conflict. During the Targaryen conquest, they surrendered Highgarden to the invading forces of Aegon the Conqueror, and in return the Tyrells were elevated as the new lords paramount of the Reach. During Robert's rebellion, House Tyrell remained loyal to House Targaryen, as Robert Baratheon was a rebel unlikely to win, and the Tyrells owed their rule of the Reach to the Targaryens. Forces of House Tyrell managed to inflict the only loss Robert suffered during the war, albeit an indecisive one, at the Battle of Ashford. However, the vast army and resources of House Tyrell were tied up on a siege of Storm's End, held for Robert by his brother, Stannis Baratheon. After the Mad King's death, the Tyrell surrendered and swore fealty to Robert Baratheon. In the current generation, House Tyrell is a stable and honestly loving family, with none of the internal rivalries that are to be found in House Lannister and House Baratheon. Thus the relationships between Lord Mace and his children, and between siblings like Loras and Marjorie, are genuine and uncomplicated. House of the Dragon, Season 1 At the Green Council, Ser Otto Hightower mentions Highgarden as an ally, and commands ravens be sent to them. Game of Thrones, Season 1 Ser Loras Tyrell suggests to his lover Renly that his family would support a claim to the Iron Throne made by Renly with all of their formidable military and economic might. Renly is initially reluctant to make such a claim. However, when Eddard Stark spurns his aid, Renly flees King's Landing by night with Loras. He is crowned king in Highgarden and lays claim to the Iron Throne. Game of Thrones, Season 2 the Tyrells and Renly have raised an army of 100,000 men to support his claim to the throne, outnumbering any of the other claimant's armies by a significant number. To cement his new alliance with the Tyrells, Renly marries Loras's sister Marjorie Tyrell. Rob Stark sends his mother Caitlin to treat with Renly and form an alliance against the Lannisters. 
Tyrion Lannister then sends Peter Baelish to negotiate with Caitlyn. After Renly is assassinated by Stannis, Baelish arranges for an alliance between the Tyrells and the Lannisters, and the Tyrells flee Stannis. The Tyrells join Tywin Lannister's host at the Battle of the Blackwater, defeating Stannis. To formalize their alliance, Joffrey agrees to wed Marjorie Tyrell. Game of Thrones, Season 3 House Tyrell resumes its shipment of foodstuffs from the Reach to King's Landing. The Tyrell army joins the Lannisters in overrunning the Stormlands. Olena Tyrell conspires with Varys to wed Sansa Stark to Loras, but when Baelish informs the Lannisters, Tywin cuts off the plot by arranging Sansa's marriage to Tyrion and Loras's marriage to Cersei. He then coerces Olena's consent. Game of Thrones, Season 4 Marjorie is wed to Joffrey, but the king is assassinated at his wedding, secretly by Olena with Baelish's help. Marjorie is then betrothed to Joffrey's younger brother and successor, Tommen, whom Olena expects to be both gentler and easier to influence for Marjorie. Game of Thrones, Season 5 Cersei appoints Lord Mace Tyrell the Master of Coin and sends him to Bravos to negotiate their debt with the Iron Bank. She then moves forward with a plot to remove the Tyrell's influence by reinstating the Faith Militant under the High Sparrow, who arrests Loras. Olena returns to the capital to free Loras, but at his hearing, both he and Marjorie are imprisoned by the Faith. Game of Thrones, Season 6 Olena sits on Kevin Lannister's small council. Mace marches a Tyrell army into the capital to confront the Faith, but Marjorie is freed for helping form an alliance between Tommen and the Faith. Loras's trial is held at the Great September of Baelor, where he, his sister, and his father are all killed when Cersei arranges for its destruction. Tommen commits suicide, and after Cersei is crowned the new queen, Olena travels to Dorne and agrees to an alliance with Daenerys Targaryen. Game of Thrones, Season 7 Olena sits on Daenerys's war council at Dragonstone, and agrees to commit the Tyrell forces to a siege to King's Landing. However, when Olena returns to Highgarden, Jaime Lannister leads the Lannister army into the Reach with Randall Tarly's support, and they sack Highgarden. Olena confesses to Joffrey's murder before she dies. Her death marks the end of House Tyrell. The Lannisters use the Tyrell gold to pay their debt back to the Iron Bank. Game of Thrones, Season 8 With the Tyrell line extinct, Ser Bronn is given Highgarden and made the new Lord Paramount of the Reach, establishing his own house to replace House Tyrell. Military Strength The strength of House Tyrell has remained mostly unscathed during the War of the Five Kings, around 15,800 men, according to Olena. Later, a small part of these forces is annihilated by the Lannister Tarly forces at the sack of Highgarden, leading to Olena's death, thus eliminating the once formidable Great House. As the second richest house, Tyrell's soldiers seem to be well equipped, yet still far behind to the Lannisters. This is particularly evidenced by the high-quality swords and weapons purchased due to the Reach's fertile lands. Despite the Tyrell army being diverse and ornamentally impressive in design, their vassals seem to follow this motif, bright-colored armor and steel plates, despite their preference to be considered as independent houses. Most notably, House Tarly which used red tunics and steel armor which distinguishes them from House Tyrell. It is relatively quite unknown how the Tyrell army is experienced in terms of warfare since most of their army didn't partake in pitch battles during the War of the Five Kings. Numerous battles such as the Battle of the Blackwater showed its capability in combat, wherein the combined cavalry of both House Lannister and Tyrell easily managed to crush Stannis Baratheon's army with ease. Although it can be considered that they fought using mounted soldiers which gives an advantage compared to the foot soldiers used during the battle. Later in Season 7, it is revealed that the Tyrell army is incapable of fighting as stated by Olena Tyrell by grimly stating, it was never our forte. This can be an assumption that House Tyrell is more reliant and dependent on their more marital vassals like the Tarleys and other houses to fight their battles. The Reach is controlled mostly by House Tyrell, mostly due to Harlan Tyrell's surrender of Highgarden to Aegon Targaryen thus elevating their status. Despite their status, however, their vassals seem to act self-beneficially and have questionable loyalties such as the Florence and the Fossaways, who align themselves with Stannis rather than follow their liege lords. House Tarly, on the other hand, chose to reluctantly ally with the Lannisters in fear of the Dothraki. Members Lord, Luther Tyrell, Lord of Highgarden, Lord Paramount of the Reach and Warden of the South. Died in a hawking accident. Lady, Olena, his widow of House Redwine. Called, the Queen of Thorns. The former head of the family. Poisoned herself after Highgarden fell to the Lannister army. 
Lord, Mace Tyrell, their son and heir. Lord of High Garden, Lord Paramount of the Reach and Warden of the South. The former head of the family. Burnt alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great September of Baylor. Lady, Valerie, his wife of House Hightower. Queen, Marjorie Tyrell, their daughter. The young and beautiful widow of Renly Baratheon and Joffrey Baratheon. Lastly, she was the wife of Tommen Baratheon until she was burned alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great September of Baylor. Presumably heir to High Garden moments before her death, after the disinheritance of her brother. Sir, Loras Tyrell, their son and heir, until his disinheritance moments before his death. Called the Knight of the Flowers. Noted for his youth, valor, and his skill with a lance. Formerly Lord Commander of the King's Guard under King Renly Baratheon until the King's death. Forced to join the Sparrows as brother Loras until he was soon burned alive by wildfire during the destruction of the Great September of Baylor. With unspecified familiar relationship to the main branch. Alana Tyrell, a cousin of Loras and Marjorie. An unnamed lady, apparently a granddaughter of Elena Tyrell. Historical members. Sir, Alistair Tyrell, an undull knight and warlord who became the High Steward of High Garden under House Gardener. Lord, Harlan Tyrell, the first Warden of the South. Bent the knee to Aegon the Conqueror after the death of his previous king, Myrn Nine Gardner. Lord, Lionel Tyrell, Lord of Highgarden during the conquest of Dorne. Declared steward of Dorne by King Daeron I Targaryen, and later assassinated by the Dornish with a hundred red scorpions. Sworn to House Tyrell. House Ashford of Ashford. House Beesbury of Honeyholt. House Bulwer of Black Crown. House Kiwi of Sunhouse. House Florent of Brightwater Keep now sworn to Stannis Baratheon. House Fossaway of Cider Hall. House Hightower of Old Town. House Lay Good. House Oakheart of Old Oak. House Redwine of the Arbor. House Tarly of Horn Hill, formerly. Vassals and Allies. Lord Randall Tarly, Lord of Horn Hill. Lord Paxter Redwine, Lord of the Arbor. In the books. In the A Song of Ice and Fire novels, House Tyrell is a powerful noble house. The Reach is the most populous region of the Seven Kingdoms, and the Tyrells can field the largest army on the continent, although the Lannisters, being richer, can better equip their troops. This makes the Tyrells formidable enemies but excellent allies. House Tyrell never ruled as kings and queens, as opposed to the Starks, Lannisters, or Arryns. Before King Aegon I Targaryen's invasion and unification of the Seven Kingdoms, the Tyrells were stewards to House Gardner, the kings of the Reach. The Tyrells had responsibility for maintaining the castle of High Garden, the seat of royal power in the Reach. In the battle known as the Field of Fire, King Myrn Nine Gardner and all of his issue were burned alive by Aegon's dragons. Harlan Tyrell, King Myrn's steward, surrendered Hightower to King Aegon and was rewarded with the title of Lord Paramount of the Reach and Warden of the South. House Florin of Brightwater Keep has long disputed the suitability of the Tyrells to the rule of the Reach because they can claim a closer blood relationship to the old kings of House Gardner. House Florent is a cadet branch of House Gardner, founded by a younger son of the main Gardner line, while House Tyrell can only claim descent from House Gardner through the female line. As a result, the Florents have often bucked the authority of the Tyrells in the past three centuries since the Targaryen conquest. It came as little surprise when after Renly died and House Tyrell led their vassals in switching to support King Joffrey and the Lannisters, House Florent was the only major house from the Reach to switch allegiance to Stannis instead. Indeed, Stannis's wife, Celis, is herself a Florent. Thus the Tyrells, while always maintaining firm control of the Reach, have always feared they have an uneasy grip on their rule. While the Tyrells possess very fertile lands from which they can raise large armies, there are other powerful noble families in the Reach, such as House Florent, which don't particularly respect them the way the vassals of the Starks and Lannisters respect them because they used to be their kings. A great deal of skill at court politics has thus been needed to keep the Tyrells' powerful vassals in check, though Tyrells like Lady Olenna possess this in abundance. Therefore, House Tyrell is always on the lookout to secure a marriage into a royal line, strengthen their prestige and cement their rule over the Reach. The Martells and Tyrells have been sworn enemies for many generations. Over the centuries, they have fought border wars beyond count and raided back and forth across mountains and marches even when at peace. 
The enmity between the two houses waned a bit after Dorne became part of the Seven Kingdoms, but the maiming of Willis Tyrell by the Dornish Prince Oberyn Martell in a joust fanned the animosity between the families, though Willis himself does not hold any grudge against Oberyn, as both men knew what happened was simply an unfortunate accident. As D.B. Weiss summed it up in a season 2 featurette, in the current generation House Tyrell is a closet matriarchy of sorts. While dependable, honorable, and loyal, the men of House Tyrell aren't particularly intelligent or adept at politics. Instead, the female members of House Tyrell, such as Marjorie and her father's mother, Olena, are the intelligent ones who actively plan out the political course that House Tyrell will take. An exception to this is Lord Mace's eldest son, Willis, who, unlike his father and two younger brothers, Garland and Loras, is said to be quite well educated. Since being elevated to rule of the Reach, during any major Westeros-wide conflict, the Tyrells have frequently judged a conflict and then followed the strategy of pragmatically siding with whoever seems most likely to win, rather than fighting for abstract principles of law or honor. During the Targaryen conquest, they surrendered to the Targaryens willingly in return for their favor. In Robert's rebellion, they sided with the Mad King because they owed the Targaryens everything, and didn't think Robert Baratheon could defeat him. During the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons, however, the Tyrells judged that the faction of Renera Targaryen and the faction of Aegon II Targaryen were so evenly matched that it was not obvious at the outset which side would win. With neither side having a clear advantage over the other, to the surprise of both, the Tyrells declared neutrality and took no part in the war, though their bannermen were heavily divided between the two sides. In the books, as in the series, the Lannisters grow increasingly concerned with how much power the Tyrells manage to gain. Ever since the second novel, the Tyrells become the Lannisters' most important allies, and they take full advantage of that to increase their, and their bannermen, political power, slowly but surely. Following the Battle of the Blackwater, the Tyrells are greatly rewarded for reinforcing the Lannister troops, Marjorie is betrothed to Joffrey, Loras becomes a member of the Kingsguard, Mace is given a seat at the small council as master of ships, Garland is granted the lands of House Florent. Two of the Tyrells' bannermen, Paxter Rewine, and Mathis Rowan, are also granted seats in the small council. During the third book, Tywin Lannister decides to restore Pycelle, whom Tyrion had previously sent to the Black Cells beneath the Red Keep, to the position of Grand Maester after he received word that the Citadel planned on naming Maester Gorman, born Gorman Tyrell, his replacement. Following Tywin's death, the Tyrells grow bolder with their demands, among them to wed Marjorie to Tommen shortly after his brother's death, much to Cersei's annoyance. Cersei's resentment toward the Tyrells soon turns into mistrust, and then to paranoia, based on several items. Shortly after Tyrion's escape, Kyburn informs Cersei that an ancient Tyrell coin was found in the cell of a jailer named Rugen, who is Varys in disguise. Lady Tina Merryweather of Mir, wife of the newly appointed Master of Laws, tells Cersei that her handmaiden Sanel is spying for Marjorie and that Olena pays merchants in King's Landing with old coins which are only half the weight of newly minted gold dragons. At first, Cersei suspects that someone is seeking to drive a wedge between the Lannisters and Tyrells, this may be the truth, in view of Varys' statement at the end of the fifth novel, but Cersei's paranoia soon overcomes her logic. As Marjorie's popularity and influence over Tommen grow, Cersei suddenly realizes, correctly, that the Tyrells had a motive to dispose of Joffrey. She becomes convinced that the Tyrells plot to undermine the Lannisters, they conspired with Tyrion to murder Joffrey, maybe to murder Tywin too, they helped Tyrion escape from jail, lastly, Marjorie is the queen whom Maggie referred to. Driven by her paranoia, Cersei plots to have Marjorie charged with adultery and shamed in public. However, similarly to each and every scheme Cersei comes up with, this one goes wrong too, the witnesses against Marjorie prove to be false, and Cersei finds herself in a much worse position than Marjorie. Ironically, as a result of the scheme, the Tyrells grow more in power. Kevin, like his niece, is wary of the Tyrells' power greed, however, he acknowledges that alienating the Tyrells is a much worse option than complying with their demands. He chides Cersei for rejecting Mace's request to become the King's Hand, reasoning that although Mace is hardly suitable for that office, it is even more foolish to make him a foe. By the end of the fifth novel, Kevin becomes concerned because the Tyrells increase their power gradually at the expense of the Lannisters, they have three of the seats in the small council, Mace, the King's Hand, Randall Tarly, Master of Laws and Justiciar, Lord Pax to Redwine, Master of Ships and Grand Admiral, a hundred of Highgarden men have been added to the Gold Cloaks, Lord Tyrell and Tarly have both brought armies to King's Landing, while most of the Lannister troops are away in the Riverlands.
Kevin's hands are tied, however, because Cersei's attempts to limit the Tyrells power were utterly ludicrous and could only be resolved by giving the Tyrells their current concessions. The rest of the Tyrells are Lady Mina Tyrell, Lord Mace's sister Married to Lord Paxter Redwine Lady Janna Tyrell, Lord Mace's sister Married to Sir John Fossaway Garth Tyrell, Lord Mace's uncle Called, Garth the Gross Lord Seneschal of Highgarden Garth's Flowers, Garth's Bastard Son Garrett Flowers, Garth's Bastard Son Sir Morin Tyrell, Lord Mace's uncle Lord Commander of the City Watch of Old Town Sir, Luther Tyrell, Morin's eldest son Married to Ellen Norwich Sir Theodore Tyrell, Luther's eldest son Married to Yasseri Eleanor Tyrell, Theodore's daughter Handmaiden to Lady Marjorie Luther Tyrell, Theodore's son Esquire Maester Medwick, Luther's second son A Maester Oline Tyrell, Luther's daughter Married to Sir Leo Blackbar Leo Tyrell, Morin's second son Called, Leo the Lazy Studying at the Citadel Maester Gorman, Lord Mace's uncle A Maester Distant relations of the main branch are Sir, Quentin Tyrell, a cousin of Lord Mace Slain at the Battle of Ashford Sir Olimer Tyrell, Quentin's son Married to Lisa Meadows Raymond Tyrell, Olimer's eldest son Ricard Tyrell, Olimer's second son Mega Tyrell, Olimer's daughter Handmaiden to Lady Marjorie Maester Normand, a cousin of Lord Mace He is in service at Black Crown Sir, Victor Tyrell, a cousin of Lord Mace Slain by the smiling knight of the Kingswood Brotherhood Victoria Tyrell, Victor's daughter Widow of Lord John Bulwer Alisanne Bulwer, Victoria's daughter The Lady of Black Crown Sir Leo Tyrell, Victor's son Married to Alice Beesbury Alla Tyrell, Leo's eldest daughter Handmaiden to Lady Marjorie Leona Tyrell, Leo's second daughter Lionel Tyrell, Leo's eldest son Lucas Tyrell, Leo's second son Laurent Tyrell, Leo's third son The following sworn houses have yet to appear in the series House Black Bar of Bandolin House Caswell of Bitterbridge House Crane of Red Lake House Costain of Three Towers House Footley of Tumbleton House Meadows of Grassy Vale House Merryweather of Long Table House Mullendore of Uplands House Rowan of Golden Grove If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.